Hey everybody, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make really cool gradients um, that you can place on banners, you can do stuff with graphics, um, whatever you typically would use gradients for. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to make really cool color gradients, how I go about doing it, and all that fun stuff. So let's dive straight into it. So the first thing I have up is I, I'm using Sketch for all my stuff. Um, I'm going to go to Insert in this top part. I'm going to go to Shape. I'm going to hit this little rectangle. We're going to do it with a, uh, a rectangle today. We're going to pretend that this is a uh, like a banner that's going to go on a website or something like that. So we're going to have our three little boxes. This is going to be where like the content lives, your hero, your call to action, all that good stuff will be in here. This is going to be like your three selling points you typically see on a website. Um, so those will live right there. And then typically you'll have like your navigation and all that stuff up there. So we have these three boxes. Now let's make this top one a gradient. Um, my goal with this is I want this to be like super visually appealing. I want it to pull, you know, I want people to come to this website and be like, damn, that, that's like a really cool looking gradient. Uh, like something about this site looks dope. And then people who don't even know what a gradient is, I want them to just be like, wow, this site's nice. It's pretty. Um, so let's, let's do that. So I'm going to remove this border number one. I'm going to go up here to fills and I'm going to click fill. I'm going to hit this gradient to the right. To the right of that is a radial gradient. That's like the circle thing where it kind of like fades out. This angular one, I think it does some like weird thing where you can make like a hard slash and a stop at a certain point of a gradient. Uh, but for this one, I always use linear gradients. So when you select that, you'll see it goes light. You have this like light area up here, right? And then you have this dark area down here. Um, I'm going to make the colors very different so you can see what's going on here. So I'm going to make it red and blue. Now, uh, step number one is choosing which angle do we want the gradient to go. Now, back in the old days, you'd have the gradient like it is now, where it's just the top to bottom or bottom to top. Um, I think a few years ago, people got fancy when they went from left to right. So that was a big step in, uh, in the tech world. And then um, what I like doing in 2018 is I like going from top left to bottom right. I think it gives it this like... I don't know, like the lights coming in or just something about the top left, the top right just feels right to me. Um, so that's what I like doing. So now that I have my angle selected, you can see where I'm going to go next. So um, what I typically like doing and, and how I really leveled up my gradient game, um, if you will, was I added a, a third color. So typically it'd just be these two, right? You make one color blue, you make one purple, and then uh, it's, it's called game over. You're done, right? But what I started doing was I started going with this middle color. So the middle color is important because I think for good gradients, it has like, it kind of has this like super nice blended effect. Um, and not just going from one color to two, but from maybe one color to two colors to three to four. So um, all you have to do for that, and all I did here was I just, I, I here's my angle, right? Here, here's you can change any angle of the gradient, right? It's simple enough for you guys. You just click the middle, one click, you can add it. And then for this one, I'll make it green. So you can add one there, you can add one here. Now the key is, um, now let's go into coloration and, and you'll understand why I said what the key is. We'll, we'll show you what the keys are. So I'm going to stick with this top purple, right? I'm going to move this green to something a little bit more in the purple family. So let's go with like a pink or something for here. Um, I'm going to go with like something a little bit like, like that feels strong, right? And then I have like a blue. I want that to be like a, maybe, maybe like a darker blue. Like that feels really cool, right? So even that looks dope. Like if you just had like a cool heading text and like subheading text and then a call to action, like that's a good looking gradient, let's just be honest. Um, so you can stop there, you can be done, you can export it at SVG, you can do whatever, put it on your website and call it a day. But what I like doing, because I'm a visual artist um, and I take pride in my design work, is I actually like making, I, I spend a little bit more time by selecting the color and just making sure it's on this top right center of the color picker. There's something about that color, like just being as bright as like and powerful and bold as it possibly can, that just makes it feel right. Now this one's like a little bit not on like the, the top right, so I'm gonna adjust here. I, I, I'm gonna interrupt because if you see, these two colors are too similar. So it makes for like an awkwardly weird, like, hey, is that color changed or is it not changed? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this pink and I'm just gonna skew it until it really feels different. So that feels different enough. Um, so I'm gonna move on to the next color. Um, I'm gonna move this up to the right, right? So that feels good. 
Um, and then I like this blue, but it's a little too strong. So I'm going to move it a little bit more towards the purple, 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 purple scale um, down here. So that, that, that feels good. And then this looks good to me, but the pink is too overpowering. So this is where um, I'm going to teach you guys a very, very, very cool shortcut. If you select, you see how this gradient goes from dot to dot? If you select like closer to the dot, like right about here, that's like a really clean color. So now what I can do is I can move this over here. I can grab the pink, delete it, and now it's like, it feels like a very nice blend. To put a splash on it, I'm going to go back to my top color, make him a little more um, pink, if you will, and there you have it. Like, to me, that looks dope, right? Then you might have your, like, heading text, whatever. Um, what's a good font? What's a good font? I, I, I've been liking Helvetica since day zero in the design game. So um, I just want to make that bold, you know, center it, do that. Like, dude, like that. You, you had that plus some heading text plus like a nice call to action and like a white color uh, with maybe the text being the same color as like the background gradient. You know, that, that that's a visual banger right there. So, um, yeah, so that's how you do gradients. That's how I go about selecting my gradients. Um, you can do this with circles with the other angular one that we looked at in the beginning of the video. But uh, that's how you make gradients in Sketch that look good. Big shot. Hold up. Inside, no. Outside, cocaine white body looks like Gentiles, Gentiles. Emotion, emotional.